Good evening, Ajayan. Okay, so let me ask you a question. How many of you have walked out of a conversation feeling distressed because it did not go the way you had imagined in your head? For example, I prepared very well for the interview, but interview ne wo questions puche nahi. Or I gave the presentation very well in front of my colleagues. But when I had to give it in front of my boss or the client, it did not do what it had to. Or I really like that person and I have written a lovely poem for them. But as soon as that person comes in front of me, I freeze and my emotions die with me. I'm sure each one of you present over here has either falls into any one of these categories or all of these categories. And I am no exception. My name is Dr. Rashmi Dubey Kakkar. I am an enabler and coach of communication and I'm partners with Visible Learning Enhancement Solutions Germany and RPS Consultancies India. So what I want to speak over here is about you might have the best of communication skills. You might be very, very efficient in communicating. But is it really effective? Remember how in schools, when we have exams, there's supposed to be pin drop silence. Hota hai ki nahi? Still, hum cheat kar lete hai. Still, students are able to cheat because of efficient communication skills, with signals, with asking questions like this. But then, here is a catch. What if one person is asking answer of one question and he gets the answer of the other? It creates a confusion. All right. So even though your communication was efficient enough, it was not effective enough. I am not here to talk about any strategy, any tips, any tricks, because I feel that communication and efficient communication should be in every cell in your body, like how you breathe, how you use your hands, how you use your legs, how you use any other part of your body. Aapka vachan shakti bhi aapke liye usi tarah kaam karna chahiye. So let me start my journey. I was born in Bahrain, though both my parents are from Ujjain. So my father was an aircraft maintenance engineer in Bahrain and that's why I was born there. Now, you know, I was the youngest of six siblings. So anybody who is the youngest over here in their family, they would resonate with me when I say that we learn from our children's mistakes and learn from their experiences. So you know how it happens, like if my elder sister is getting scold, scolded for not finishing her food, I would gut down mine because I know I am next. So you know what, listening skills and observing came something in very early stages of my life. But after a few years, my mother passed away and we had to move to Jen. Now that was again a very difficult time for me. Why? Because first I was grieving her. Secondly, I was put from Bahrain to Ujjain and in a very different state of mind, I'm talking about the year 1995. So, and I was put to a school where, you know, um, kids had to wear, girls had to wear shalwar kameez and I didn't even know how to tie a nada. But I outsmarted it, I had elastics in my pants. <laughs> so, but then what I learned over there is how flexible I can be or how adaptable I can be to this change and not affect me. Now, I don't want to waste much of your time and I want to go to the most important part of my life where I learned many, many important skills. That was when I did my graduation. During my graduation years, I did almost six penny jobs. I have done jobs like, excuse me sir, do you have a requirement of a home loan? I have shown torches, in cineplexes. I have been a receptionist in a travel agency. I have worked as an assistant for many, many people. And what I learned over there is, ke aap kuch bhi kar lo, doctor ban jau, engineer ban jau. In the end, you have to deal with people. And many a times, difficult people. In the end, you might be put into a nasty situation and how you come out, that is what is showing your efficiency. I would like to give you an example of an efficient communication that happened with me. So while I was doing my telemarketing job, you know how it is, they give you a manual and you, a, a probable set of questions that the customer might ask. So after 45 days of no leads, 
Finally, one gentleman agreed and he said that, yes, I have a requirement of home loan. I was not, all, not even 19. I was very young at that time. And I was so happy that, yes, yeah, finally, I got a lead. Mila. But after a few minutes, that gentleman started asking me for my mobile number. Now, here, I was in a very bad situation for two reasons. Number one, I didn't have a mobile at that time. Pe. And number two, first time somebody was talking to me like that. But you know what I did? I kept on smiling, even though I was on a call, I kept on smiling. You know why? Because your smile can be heard. Not only seen, it can be heard. I kept on smiling and I kept on telling him that, excuse me sir, I'm really sorry, I can't provide you with that kind of information. So this gentleman kept on asking me at least seven, eight times. And like a parrot, I kept on saying the same thing with all due respect. So even if any, uh, you, you know, scrutiny were to be done, I, would have, I wouldn't have lost anything because I was calm, I was polite, I, was, uh, I didn't do anything wrong. So, you know, facing such situations also uh, has to be there within you. Now, after that, I did my uh, MBA in finance and I, I had the opportunity to learn from uh, Mr. I.C. Dhingra. Uh, the 11, 12 former students must be knowing him. Aaj bhi unki books chalti hai NCRT mein. So, kabhi kabhi hota hai na ki gyan se bada guru ho jata hai. The same thing happened with me and I decided to do my PhD in economics. Now, everything was go doing great. I was working in the National Stock Exchange and I, I went into training. I went into training, I went into communication and I, after that I partnered with a number of organizations. And it went very nice with me. But then when I wanted to take a big leap, I wanted to do something very huge. And I was approaching um, people. And once there was this German client, I remember very well. So, you know, every rejection that I had, you are too young, you are inexperienced, you don't have corporate exposure at this level. So, every call used to have this. So, one day, I told this gentleman that, sir, if you have time, you know, I would really want to speak with you. Because I had efficient communication, but it was not a good I had efficient communication skills. I knew it. But I was not able to make any advantage of it. So I told him, sir, everybody is telling me the same thing. The same thing, set of things, the same set of setbacks that are bolder. But I am in an infinite loop. I am taking four left turns and standing where I started from. I don't have experience because nobody is giving me job and nobody is giving me job because I don't have experience. So, iska nivaran ye hai ki let me do this intervention with you. Please don't pay me. Someone earlier just said that if you are passionate about your job and you will do it even if you don't get paid, that means you are on the right track. That really hit me hard because I was one of them. So that gentleman was like, you know, uh, how are you? You know, he was taken aback that what are you saying? So I said, sir, you know what? It's okay. If I want to earn from it, I will learn from it. And that is the passion that I have developed towards communication. That I don't earn for a living, I try to learn for a living. And that is what I'm trying to say. Communication is like a muscle. The more it will work for you, only that much, that how much you are working on it. It is like a very, very important skill that you have to develop in very early stages of your life. Even uh, in colleges, even in schools, Jitna importance aap padhai ko de reho, jitna importance aap uh, technicality ko de reho, make sure you're giving that much of importance in communication skills, in displaying skills. Otherwise, jagdal mein mor na cha kisne dekha. Get it? So, all I want to say is, I'm not going to take much time, that don't run or don't try to prove yourself, only and only try to improve yourself. That's all for me for this evening. Thank you very much.